All right, guys, let's check out the Manta Sky Quest. This is a special or limited edition. Has a blue red, aka Pepsi aluminum bezel insert versus a ceramic one. Uh, I kind of think the Manta really belongs with an aluminum bezel insert after seeing it firsthand. Uh, hopefully, moving forward, we see more aluminum. I think we will because I talked to the guys over at Manta uh, at the San Francisco wind up show and I think they're also very much liking the the two more recent SkyQuest releases. Both both of them were like this, except for one was a black dial. And, of course, this one is like um, uh, kind of like a white silvery color. Uh, it's I mean, it looks like a cream or off-white, pearl white type look. But in certain lights, you might see a little bit of silver hint to it. But that's a, a beautiful colorway, to say the least. I think you guys will agree. These were a limited edition. There was a pre-order thing, and they all ship in July, I think, or some people already have them. I can't remember how it works exactly. But if you go to the website, I'll put a link in the description. These are sold out. I basically talked Justin, the president slash one of the owners of Manta, to loan me. This is his personal watch. So he actually just emailed me today, and he's like, hey, I got a, a kind of a thing going on. Is there any way you can get that video done and get that watch back to me? Because, like, like, he loves to wear this watch. This is, like, his go-to watch now uh, for special occasions, which, you know, he's got a thing going on. So I uh, definitely got to get this video done. Hence, right now I'm making the video. And uh, box this thing up and get it back to Justin so he can enjoy it. Uh, unfortunately, I missed out. A lot of people missed out on this watch. Uh, I met quite a few people at the San Francisco wind-up show that actually were able to secure one. So kudos, you know, congrats to you guys. Um, and listen, guys, there's going to be a new SkyQuest. Guaranteed, maybe. <laughs> they're they're going to do another colorway like this. Like, it was very, very well received. Uh, and I think we'll see a future model of this colorway. So don't freak out too much. Just be ready when the SkyQuest version 2.0 or whatever they call it uh, comes out because it's going to be pretty amazing. It's going to be hard to, um, I don't think they're necessarily looking to top this one, more more like just a refresh, do a little bit, you know, a, a few changes, I'm sure. Um, so it's not like uh, it's going to be too much different than this. It's going to be uh, probably pretty similar because they already kind of have a pretty high bar set with the watch that they offer. All right, enough, enough rambling. We're like three minutes in. 40 and a half millimeter case, 49 lug to lug. You guys have probably watched some of my Manta videos in the past. Only 12 millimeter thick. You have a flat sapphire crystal with a ton of AR coating on the underside. 20 millimeter lug width there. So if you want to put different straps or, uh, you know, fitted leather or rubber straps on there. Uh, but really, this thing is going to live on the bracelet. So, because the bracelet tapers down to about 16 and a half millimeter, and then you have a patented or patent pending uh, clasp system here. You have this like oversized button that snaps into this little hole here. So, it's going to keep that really good retention for a long time just because of its overall design. And then a signed fold over keeper there. It does have micro adjusts. The micro adjusts are hidden into the clasp. So, you just pop this guy out. And you have, I forget how many positions, like six positions or something. They positively lock in. Uh, it's very clean. I believe ceramic ball in there or something. It feels like it. So pretty good clean operation there. And then snaps into place. Um, looks like we have a screw loose there, Justin. So I will go ahead and tighten that up for you before we uh, do any damage on that guy. But... Um, We'll, we'll tighten that up. Make sure we get that back to Justin in proper working order. Uh, the bezel is a bi-directional bezel, as you would expect a GMT-style watch to have. It should be 72 clicks, and they're very clean and positive clicks for sure. Excellent job on the bezel action there. Six millimeter screw-down crown, maintaining the 300 meter, actually it's a 1,000 feet, AK 304 meter uh, water resistance on this. So if we go ahead and unscrew this thing, you know, you get a nice crown pop to it and you can wind the movement. Now, the movement inside, they're calling it the Manta M23. Why do brands do that? Obviously, they can get away with um, renaming them if they do something to it. Well, they have their own custom rotor and they do have their in-house watchmaker, so they are regulated and all that stuff. But more importantly, it gives them the freedom 
to source whatever movements they need to be able to source. In this case, this one actually has an ETA 2893 in it, but they have the option of going with the Salita SW330, which probably future models will have just because of the availability uh, problems or issues that come along with some of the ETA movements. So, but this one actually does have an ETA 2893 in it. I did look it up. Here's a closer look at the gold or gilt colored handset and indexes. The hands are diamond cut and rhodium plated. They're very clean and sharp edges. You also have one of the best framed in date windows I have seen because typically the frame actually is like uh, much more uh, protruded or defined on the dial. This one's almost like set into the dial. I love it. That is like, that's how you do it. Um, I don't know that I've really seen a dial done like that because this thing is like, it's crazy clean. I love it. You guys are seeing that, right? Like that's a proper way to frame your date window. It doesn't like, it frames it without being too um, over the top with drawing your attention to it. So very cleanly done. So the other thing that's really cool on this is the way they did the GMT hand. As you can see, it's like smack right up against the dial for clearance. And then the outer red tip pointer hand there raises up to clear the oversized indexes at the 12 and the three and the nine. So very cool and it all just barely clears itself. So. It's very cool design and something that uh, I believe Monta is like really the only one that I've handled that does that. So uh, very cool. I mean, you can you can see how close the tolerances are on that thing. It almost looks like there would be interference with something and there just isn't. It's just such a clean uh, execution. So go ahead and screw that crown back down and then there you go. Now let's flip it over. Excellent polishing minus this, <laughs> my finger smudges on there, but you also have a display case back. Also very nice to see that, right? So uh, signed rotor there and a, you know, kind of an upgraded movement. It has some perlage work on it. Uh, so a little more decorated, not over the top or anything like that, but definitely nice to see some of that decoration. And then you can kind of see up there or it says, uh, it has the ETA stamp and then it says 2893, so pretty cool. Very, very nice watch. All right, let's zoom back out. We've went pretty long. Let's pop this thing on wrist. The retail price on this was $21.90. You're not going to find discounts on Montas unless you go secondary market. Um, they, you know, they, they know what they have. They're making a premium product and uh, the price is already at a very, uh, fair um, and quite frankly an affordable price for the quality of the product that they're selling here so uh, the bracelet is top notch bracelet the watch everything the complete execution of the watch and the design is the total package so very well done that's all i can really say about that like the bracelet is like it all collapses onto itself it's extremely comfortable it's like almost softened there's zero hot spots uh, just an amazing watch. Let's kill the lights and check the loom. Should be BGW9. I could be wrong. No, I am not. It is definitely BGW9. So there is the loom. Plenty bright enough. Healthy application. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And again, big thanks to Justin and the guys over at Monta. I'll see you on the next video.